All right, so let, let's start with the, with the, the breaking news that there's a, a letter out now from the DOJ saying, I've been telling people this all along, and I've been saying this is the test. This is where we see if the law really applies. They're declining to bring criminal charges against acting FBI Director McCabe. You know the facts about this very well. The Inspector General report said that he lied in a, in a, uh, a binding under oath situation. What's going on here, Andy? Well, I guess, Buck, the only thing that we can glean for the moment, because this is apparently, I haven't, I have, I've seen reporting about the letter. I haven't uh, seen the letter. I don't know if it's, if the letter's publicly available that the Justice Department sent. But uh, they it evidently, may, they simply advise his lawyers that they're not going to go forward. I don't know that they've given a rational a rationale for that. They often don't. The only thing I can fathom is that they decided that they couldn't prove intent to mislead beyond a reasonable doubt. Um, I, I find that difficult to understand based on what we saw in Inspector General Horowitz's report, which seemed to me to be uh, pretty damning. Uh, but, you know, obviously, uh, if, if they did it for any other reason, like if they decided not to prosecute him, even though they thought there was a case there uh, because of, uh, you, you know, whatever equities they found uh, would have been involved because of his service to the United States, then I think that would be a terrible uh, outcome because it would confirm people in the idea, which they're going to be confirmed in uh, anyway, that there are two tiers of justice in this country and the connected get one quality of justice and the rest of us get a different one uh, but we'll have to see what they have to say about why they did what they did I here's here's the letter andy from the uh, u.s department of justice timothy shea united states attorney dear counsel we write to inform you that after careful consideration the government has decided not to pursue criminal charges against your client andrew g mccabe arising from the referral by the Office of the Inspector General to our Office of Conduct described in the OIG's April 13, 2018 report. Based on the totality of the circumstances and all the information known to the government at this time, we consider the matter closed. Please do not hesitate to contact us. That's all they got. Yeah, well, I guess the only thing that uh, they would tell you, I suppose, is that uh, they would have had to prove his intent beyond a reasonable doubt, and he's made a very vigorous argument that he didn't intentionally mislead anyone. And they also fired him uh, and denied him at least a uh, part of his uh, retirement compensation that he would have uh, otherwise been uh, entitled to. But I don't hear anything in the letter that you've just read, Buck, that suggests that uh, in exchange for this, the uh, that. McCabe is going to drop his case against the government, so I assume that's still uh, going forward. So, so I, I, but I need to understand, Andy, how, how could money. they, for example, explain now? How can any of these people who are for, who are involved in, say, the the Mueller prosecution, and of course the media all around them? We know. I mean, I mean, I won't speak for you. I mean, I think the media is overwhelmingly liberal hacks pretending to be journalists. But anyway, how is it that uh, we have General Flynn still pleading to a felony? And facing, we don't know, I mean, he probably won't get prison time, but facing, you know, theoretically prison time uh, for lying about a non-issue, the meaning lying about no crime, we'll say, right? Lying about not committing a crime. Why all of a sudden is, is it not a problem for McCabe to lie? Buck, you're hitting on exactly what the problem is. It's two tiers of justice. And, uh, you know, I think the Flynn case is outrageous. Uh, and, I, you know, obviously, if they're going to give someone like McCabe a pass, uh, I think the Justice Department ought to be reexamining the Flynn case because there's no reason that uh, if this is going to be the standard, then there's no reason why they need to wait for the president to pardon Flynn. They can simply say that uh, under the standards that they're now evaluating false statements cases under, uh, he shouldn't have been prosecuted in the first place, so that they don't they don't want to go for, forward anymore. But I don't. Uh, I'm not going to hold my breath waiting for that to happen. Hey, Team Buck! Thank you so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you like this video, please click that little thumbs up button, so then it will log as liked. And also, if you want to see more great content from the first, please click subscribe.